Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Gamer's Thoughts discussion. And this time I'm going to be talking about something that I didn't even know existed until a couple days ago. And I just happened across it while I was on YouTube just looking through what was recommended. And then I saw this thing pop up for Panic, not to be confused with Panic Button, for... A device they're creating called Playdate, which is, for all intents and purposes, exclusively an old-school retro handheld. It's all monochrome, no backlight, even though it does have a decent pixel density from what I've looked at. Um, Yeah, I'm kind of interested in this little thing. I mean, apparently this has been getting shopped around for a couple years at least. um, And they just really showed off the device itself with the little little briefing. And, like, I just guess I got lucky and ran across it because I'd, again, I had no idea (laughs) that this thing existed. And I'm kind of interested in it because there are, where you can play games on it, every unit allows you to be able to develop games too and there's going to be an online SDK that you only really need an internet browser to use to make your games on. So that's nice. And I was like, huh, that's cool. It's an interesting concept. Um, It really, (laughs) it kind of sits there where the Game Boy used to be. Um, Because it's got an A and B and a D-pad and it has the additional functionality of having a crank which can be used for different things in games and it also looks like it utilizes um, a gyroscope I'm not sure I assume it does because of just some of the footage that they showed of it in action I kind of think it does I again can't say for certain since it's not like I have a hands on experience with it um It is low resolution, obviously, because it's supposed to be a tiny device with a small screen, 400 by 240p. But again, tiny game, I mean, tiny, tiny device meant to be portable only. Um, And the game at launch is, the system at launch is going to be $179.99, I believe. And it come, when you purchase it, you get, I think they said 12 weeks worth of, of individual game releases. It's like two games every week are going to release to it from what they already have developed for it or what's already in, in, uh, in development for it. So that's a nice start. I don't know if price-wise it's going to be worth it for a lot of people because you look $20 higher and you got the Nintendo Switch Lite. So, but on top of that, <laughs> games cost more than Nintendo Switch. So, I mean, there's give and take there, but people are going to be looking for higher quality, then they're definitely just going to go with the Switch Lite rather than going for the play date. Um, <clears throat> but I do think it's a nice little interesting device to have for people who may not be very tech savvy that might want to get into developing games or at least learn the ins and outs of it. I think that it'll appeal to people on that level. Like you can start small with some basic stuff. And like I said, their online SDK only requires you to use a browser. So (laughs) you can basically set up an account, use a browser, develop a game and have it on the store, whatever their store is going to be. Um, there is also a dock that will work as a Bluetooth speaker that you can use to charge it. It also holds pens for some reason. That was exciting to them. Not so exciting to me. Because it's not like it does anything additional. And again, the screen is not backlit. So you will have to have a light on while you're playing this. And I'm like, and I get that, that they probably thought about it as a function for squeezing as much out of the battery as they could. But a backlight would have probably been at least a a better idea to have in than not. Again, 
no hands-on experience with the device, so I can't say, I can't tell per se why they did it the way they did it. But there, there's an option to learn how to develop games with it and put games on there. Like, everything's going to be monochrome. So it's definitely an old school retro feel that you're going to get from it. But who's to say that you couldn't work on a game on there, learn how to develop it and set it up and potentially afterwards port it somewhere else? You never know. Hey, you might be able to make a tiny game collection on there and work on them and then port them off to different platforms and sell them off. Just depends on how they're their development platform works. Um, But I am interested in seeing what they do with it. I do think its price might be a little bit of a struggle for a lot of people. Um, Especially right now, again, you're paying $180 for this and you could just pay $20 more and get a Nintendo Switch Lite. So that is something to consider. But it does fit a a niche in the market that is missing it. And I, I know people are probably going to think it's odd of me to say this, but the Nintendo Switch Lite is really still just a Nintendo Switch, so it's not truly a dedicated handheld. Yes, you play it as a hand, you play it handheld, but it's not truly a dedicated handheld, even if it's the Lite, because you're still playing the same games as the Switch. Meaning they're developed still with the same mindset as the main Switch console. Like, it, there's no differentiation between them. If it works on the Switch, it works on the light outside of a few small functions and features. So, again, you're playing, you're still playing the device as a home console, even if it's only in your hands. I think that's the major point I'm trying to make. And a lot of the stuff that the play date may be able to work for is to have smaller quicker, more short-term engagement games, which yes, you can find a lot of that on your phone, but this will be a separate device from your phone that won't kill and eat your phone's battery, which is something I think people have to consider. See, I don't really think it could hurt to just, for many people just to have it. I I know there's going to be a lot of people to pick it up for the novelty of it. And quite possibly because they're looking at it like, yeah, maybe this won't do very well. Um, which there is a chance that after launch it doesn't really see much use. And it may just be stuck with those 24 games. Or whatever people can come up with. Um, and the system apparently downloads games off the internet, I think, automatically. At least the ones that they have primed for it. Which... I don't know, like, are they doing it as a full service? They haven't really said. Um, But maybe that's the kick. You purchase the the machine, and you don't have to pay for any games because you're you're paying for the games along with the, the platform. That might be what makes them sell well. And if that's the case, then they may sell a lot of different units. Um, only thing I, I don't really know about is how would, you know, like if somebody wants to develop a multiplayer game, how that would work, how many of those devices can connect e- to each other at the same time, if they can. Um, there's a lot of interesting things left unanswered about it. And me personally, I'm interested in knowing, so I followed them. <laughs> so I, I fully followed them on a, uh, not Facebook on YouTube and Twitter to make sure I could keep up to date with what what they're doing. Um, But yeah, they left me with a lot of questions. I'm kind of interested in what it does. And if they do set up for multiplayer games, how are they planning to set them up? Like, because it's an interesting question, but like how do, do these... Do the play dates link to each other? And if they, if they do, how many link up together? So if they can get anywhere between 4 and 16 units to link up to each other over Bluetooth. And everyone gets the same games. And you can all play them together. 
they may have a, a winning formula on their hands. And uh, also, we don't know if the... I mean, the system does link online to servers. Will there be online games you can play with other people? Again, it's something to think about. Things to consider. And there are a lot of free game engines out there already that people can use on their computers right now to make their own games. But a lot of those don't come with a set hardware that you can work around. And I think that that is an advantage for the play date. So again, we'll see. There's, there's a lot to consider with this little device, the possible little handheld that could. Um, but they, they're really stepping into territory with uh, some sharks there as a minnow, so they need to be real careful. But still, I look forward to seeing what they come up with, what they put out, how they develop it. Because to me, it is, it is something that the industry is lacking right now, is a dedicated handheld. And people will say, well, you got your phone. You can do all this with your phone. Or you got tablets. But it's not the same thing. Even if you could take some of those games and put them on a phone. It's still not the same thing. It's still missing part of the essence of what makes it a handheld. And what makes it a good device. So again, I mean... It just really depends on what people want to do with this. But I do think that this is like a homebrewer's dream. I just, I just think that more homebrewers would wish that they could have something a little bit more substantial. But this is a good place for beginners to start with and start learning to mess around with. I don't know. So, I'm going to drop it here. I don't, I don't think there's much more I can say about it. Because I, I really truly don't know anything about this little device. Outside of... The few things that I got from their, uh, their little, uh, basically like their little trailer direct thing. So, I, I got what I, I said, what I had to say. You guys let me know what you think if you're interested in it. Um, I'll try to make sure that there's a link for it in the description. So, you guys go ahead and check it out yourselves. That's it for me. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out, everybody.